Wait, we're going live. Oh. Hey, everybody. Live Schmeier. We are live with uh, Level With Us. And today, me and Marco are going to be playing the Mega Man board game V2, the revision that I'm working on with Jasco Games. I've gotten permission from Jasco to show off our work in progress. I just want to make this super clear up front. This is not final. This is not um, official. This is not uh, sanctioned yet or approved yet by Capcom. This is just what we're working on in the background. So super unofficial. Um, a lot of it's going to look pretty pretty uh, prototypey. Just be ready for that. But um, we wanted to give you a look at what right. we're doing with the revisions of the game. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's jump in. And I'm joined today by my co-host, Marco DeSantos. You're on screen now, Marco. Say hi. Hi, my. Hello. Yeah. yeah I'm here to be Mega Man powered up. Well, I guess I'm Proto Man, so I'm Proto Man powered up. Yeah. So this is the this is the table for our uh, our current game. And let me just give you a quick overview of how this works. I'm gonna be teaching Marco too for the first time for this. Game. I guess the second time you played this before in the early version, right? We, we, I've played this before, but, you know, let me be your audience surrogate. Okay, know? audience surrogate. Let's zoom in to Mega Man player board here. All right, so uh -huh. everything will look a little bit different anyway. Um, yeah. So, it seems like we have weapon, energy, and energy. These are yeah, two so you now have now. weapon, energy, and energy. Energy is, um, is, this is your life energy, is the E, right? So this is how much life you have, and then... Uh, w here, weapon energy, that is your um, your weapon power that you use to do special actions. And you can see down here, if we zoom in a little bit, or if I just zoom up, you can see that we have some actions. Most of these actions involve spending weapon energy to do different things. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have our Mega Man figure here uh, and a deck of cards. And I'll just flip over a couple of these cards so you can see what they look like. So... These cards provide a value in the center, which is called power. Sometimes they'll provide a symbol, which can be used to pay certain costs or to exploit certain enemy weaknesses. And uh, sometimes they'll have mm -hmm. an effect, which is printed here in the box at the bottom. When you play a card, you must do the effect and you gain the power on the card. You, uh, you can't choose one or the other. You have to do both. All right? Um, I see. And then... I have another question, Brad, mm -hmm. if, if you don't mind. Go ahead. What is this lower left bolt symbol, nut right. symbol? So that is the cost of this card in scrap. And you acquire bolts when you go through the stages in the game. And um, those you can use to buy new stuff. So, for example, new stuff will be on offer over here at Big Eddie's. The l at the light lab. The light lab, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so we can buy upgrades. But that's not the majority of the, of the game. So there is a light deck building aspect. I would not call this a, like a deck building game in the traditional sense. But you can see for yourself and decide cool. what you think. All right. So right, that's your choice to decide whether it's yeah. a deck building game or not. The core gameplay uh, in the center is very similar to what it was in the original. Um, you, as the player, will be embarking on these different robot master stages, and you'll move along the outside until you can eventually challenge the Robot Master at the middle. Um, if you notice, the mm -hmm. challenge cards are gone. Instead, the difficulty, the challenges are printed directly on the Robot Master. And each Robot Master has some kind of uh, ability that will cause you to play a little bit differently while you're in their stage. All right? So, um, and then you cool, can also cool, see cool. the Robot Master's weakness. For example, Bomb Man here is weak against blade cards. Right? Um, Elec Man here is weak against blades and shields. Junk Man here is weak against electricity. And you'll see also that I've mixed some Mega Man 7 and some Mega Man 1 bosses together to build this tableau. The kind of core conceit of this game is that you get to build your own Mega Man and uh, own, your, build your own Mega Man game by selecting any six, or any eight Robot Masters and placing them around any Dr. Wily board. So in the middle, cool. this Dr. Wily board is for Mega Man 1 for the very first game. Uh, it's super simple. It's just an easy uh, intro game. But the idea is that 
with um, if you wanted to play Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3 or Mega Man 4, you could replace the Dr. Wily board in the middle and have a different mechanic that will change the way the game plays. So for example, if we were going to play Mega Man 7, which is the one where we introduce base into the series, um, we might have that board might introduce a traitor mechanic. Each time you kill a boss, you get a card, and that card might secretly activate you as a robot traitor. Uh, so oh my <laughs> different, different actual different game modes with every Wily Castle, and then different stage uh, modes with every Robot Master. We'll give you a lot of variety, so, a lot of ways to so, play. So what you're basically saying is that each Robot Master is essentially a mini stage with a mini like you know power that affects the person in that stage. Yeah. But every Wily is essentially a game wide. Uh, stage change, right? Yeah, you might so, consider these cool. like the great old ones in Arkham Horror, to give a point of reference. Right. Ah, okay. They so kind of they're like our the current base. Wily. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you go. You know, internet, mm. internet. Sometimes. No, you got weird. the you got the basics of it. So that's that's all there right, is cool. um, to the the core of the game. Um, we do do robot masters, uh, beat them. Now, I can't do this in TTS, unfortunately, but when you beat a Robot Master, um, on the back of the Robot Master is... It's supposed to flip into like a, yeah, a thing that slots into your tap. It flips into, oh, I, oh. and I think this one's... Where's Elecman? Did I not make Elecmans? Oh, no. Well, nobody fight Elecman. This is uh, this is really troubling. <laughs> um, let's, just, uh, let's just pop this out. There we go. Problem we'll fixed. Elect man. All right. So yeah, um, on the back of this tile, <laughs> there is a um, of a weapon. So imagine that this okay. that this is on the back of this. And so when you beat Freeze right. Man, you actually unplug the stage from the Wily Castle and you plug it into your board, and you get a few weapon cards that match that boss. So there's going to be a set of these cards as well in the box. And um, right. that is, ha and so these go into your deck as well. And now you see I have new activated abilities, a lot of which use the um, the freeze uh, the cards that, yeah, that's that's yeah, on my cards freeze cards. Added. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so right. that's how. Uh, sorry, um, we have some questions from chat here. Oh yeah. Um, what is this? Well, <laughs> well, well, chat. This is the Mega Man board game V two, which Brad is redesigning for Jasko. Um, Nothing final, uh, so you know it, things can change. Chat yeah, says course. that we are all here to just enjoy and observe and provide cripplingly critical feedback. So no pressure, Brad. Yeah, no, no, no pressure. Just uh, feel free to yeah to give me any feedback that you that you uh, come up with while we're playing. So right. um, so I see that we're slightly different actually. Yes, we so both Mega have Man here, decks. Mega Man here seems to. So wind is usually indicative of mobility, right? So I yeah. assume it's like when you jump and shoot, you draw a yeah, card. Yeah, wind is jump powers. So Mega Man starts with a rush coil, and that actually um, he can use the rush coil to do that um, that jump effect. But if I acquire other things, like say I beat Air Man or something, I might get more of that symbol, and that'll improve Mega Man maybe differently than it improves other people. So if we look at Proto Man right. over here... Um, Proto Man has a little less energy, so he's a little more fragile, but he's got more weapon energy, so you have more manipulation power. Also, you get to recharge energy every time you draw a shield, and Proto Man has several shield symbols in his deck. He can also I assume aid that's allies. Because he has a shield. Yeah, because he has a shield. And he can also aid allies a lot easier than other characters can. If you notice, it takes Mega Man uh, two one. weapon energy to help you. It only takes Proto Man one and weapon energy to pop in and help me, and he gets a free plus one for doing it. So, um, so yeah, right. So that's um, cool. um, that's the basics of this, mm -hmm. right? So for for people who don't understand how the core mechanic of this works, is that uh, when you enter a stage and you need to enter a node to go to a new node, you have to beat the number that's on that node, right? Yep. So. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just start our first turn off, and I'll show how it works. All right. Take how about turn, you Marco? start, Mega Man? Okay. No, you start, Mega Man, because cool. you're the designer, and I might not know all the rules yet. All right, cool. Uh, so let's see. What stage do I want to do? Um, I'll, I'll play Bomb Man here. 
So Bombman's Effect, whenever I play a 1, I must discard the top card of my deck. Cut abilities are more powerful. I don't have any of those, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and jump over here to Bomb Man. And now I start my turn. So on my turn, I will uh, go, I can use each of my character abilities once here. So for example, I can draw three cards. All right. And I can play these well, cards. Well, not just once, right? The, the aglet arrow means once. Yeah. But the other arrow means multiple times. So right? the top, yeah, that top arrow, the chevron, is, is do this once per turn. The other ones uh, with the kind of gradient, you can use as often as you can pay for them. So I can always discard one, draw one as many times as I want. So in this case, right, I could spend three um, and advance here. I could play another three and advance to here. All right. If I, um, if I, f I must advance at least once each turn. So in, if, let's say I had only drawn a one or something, um, if I, and I only had one power to, to give. In that case, I would still have to step forward, but I would have to pay the difference in energy. So this is how you take damage. Oh. And then if you can't pay the difference in energy, we lose a life. Once all of our lives are gone, Dr. Wily wins. Right? How do you um, regenerate energy? Uh, you can regenerate it through the Eddie uh, card in your deck. So there's an Eddie in your deck that'll give you mm -hmm. power-ups. Or when you defeat a Robot Master, you get all your energy back. Right? I see, I see. So I had a very simple first okay. turn, um, but I did play a one, so I have to flip the top card of my deck. Boom, and I flip this Dr. Wily card, and it says, if you discard this, lose two energy. So I did. Blat. So I took surprise Blat. damage Blat. because... Wait, wait. Yeah. Because so pulling a one means... Oh, because you're playing yeah, against... Yeah, whenever I play a man. one, I must discard the top card. I did play this one, so I was forced to discard a card. And this card said, if I discard it, lose two energy. So I took surprise damage because of an explosive in this stage. That sounds and, like a big jerk move, Wiley. Yeah, it's, that's that a pretty jerk like move, but jerk. that's uh, that's just his MO. So uh, why break. don't you give it a try, Proto Man? All right. Well, it seems that certain robot masters are harder than others. Not all robot masters are made Not equal. Not all huh? robot masters are made equal. Um, okay. Um, sure. I'll try uh, Gutsman over here. Okay. Seems like a relatively easy boy. You have to do it every time. Um, so wind and or spread cards cost one energy to play and provide plus two power. Ah, mm -hmm. so it just makes your stuff more expensive, but it's more powerful. Yeah. Well, it costs you energy, which okay, is, cool. it costs you E, which is damage. So you'll be losing life when you play these cards, but they are more powerful. Cool. Um, so that's a one. That's a one. And that's a two. Yeah. Um, do I behest myself to go harder? Because um, I'm already at the four. If I just draw another one, you could get you could get two spaces. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll just mulligan my one and hopefully draw two. How many ones are in my deck? Um, I think four. So you discard. Oh, that's so you, a lot. You spend one energy. You discard this and you draw another. Boom. Hey. Yeah. No problem, right? And actually, you can yeah, also you can also trigger your shield symbol here. You can use that fourth ability there and trigger your shield symbol to recover one weapon energy. So, no harm done. Hey, well, Proto Man is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm like very energy efficient. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Now, um, All right, and for each turn. space so turns that you are move, lightning fast. Yeah, turns are real quick. For each space that you move on the grid, you gain a scrap. So here's. Is that a, a good or a bad thing? This is good. Um, so you move two spaces um, and you get two scrap points. At the end of your turn, you can use the scrap to buy things from the light lab. Uh, so, oh, why didn't you get scrap? Uh, I did. Okay, I just forgot to take it. I'm working on I that. don't. I can't afford anything at the light lab for now. Uh, oh, yep. wait. So that means scrap ma junk man's ability is actually good for yeah, you. Yeah, junk, huh. junk man's stage is really hard, but you get double the scrap when you play it. So it can be, ah. it can be worth it. Um, but it's easier if you're powered up later. So I'll move forward again. Um, this so, is, that's kind of like how he has an unstable energy source in the games and comics. I dig it. That's yeah. cool. So I, I will... think they're referring to the fact that Proto Man is fragile and has uh, yeah. more weapon energy. He also has a like Dr. Wily chip in his deck somewhere. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, uh, so I'll spend oh, one so weapon energy right. and 
with my rush coil to draw an extra card. And then... Um, well, so no, I'll... that card gets discarded first, right? Which one? Oh, right, the top card of my deck gets discarded. Oh, no, I'm not playing this yet. Just having it in my hand fulfills the cost of the symbol. So oh, I thought you had to play it. To I don't have to cost. play it. I, if I play it, I'll claim the one. But having it in my hand allows me to use this power here. So, um, okay. so I'll do that. I'll play Eddie, and then I'll just play. Um, I'll play Super Mega Man for three, and I'll discard the Rush Coil, and then that for two. Boop. All right. And then. Um, okay, you gain a scrap. Yep, I get a scrap, and that's my turn. Go ahead. Are you not going to buy Beat or... Uh... Mm. No, I think I I'm going to save up, I'm gonna save up oh, no. for, uh, for Super Mega Man. Oh, Auto. Yeah. Auto. It's Auto. Yeah. Actually, I go. might save up for Trouble like... because Trouble will give me bonus power during the boss fight. Ah, planning ahead, I yep. see. Oh, no. Gutsman has no weaknesses. He's too he's too. Well, powerful. he's weak against these two things, right? So you do get extra power for playing those things against him. But... Yeah, that's fair. All right. I'll draw my usual three. Oh, yeah. And you can spend one scrap to cycle this if you want to. Cool. So okay. you got three. Um, I'm going to go spend three to draw three cards. Sorry, to draw a card. Let me let me actually uh, before you draw a card let's let's do something else. Um, I'll spend two weapon let's do energy. The, let's do the theme work. Yeah, I'll spend two weapon okay. energy and I'll draw a card to assist you. So I drew auto. I can play him and draw another, and I can give you plus two. So now among us we have four total. Cool. Uh, then I'll use. We have four, so I still need three. I'm gonna draw one with my auto, right? All right. Um, so that's one, so that's five. I still need two more. Yep. I'm going to go draw another one, I guess. All right. Uh, please be a two. Oh, no! no! The worst. Uh, so this card, obviously, if you worst. try and discard this, if you try and cycle this or discard it, you take damage. But if you hold it till the end of your turn, it's not going to damage you. It just right. misses with but, your, with your uh, currently. Currently, I'm going to get yeeted for damage anyway, right? You're about to take two damage, yeah. Oh, well, here's the thing. Well, rather than spend weapon energy, right, I could just... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just recover all of my weapon energy, period. With, uh, and with, just... with these two cards? Yep, and then just take the two damage yep. anyway. And so you needed to make a seven there, and you needed to... I only had five. Um, you needed to get a seven there, and so you designed you, you created five, you created three. I added two, and then the two energy make up the rest. So um, to, to those who are right. asking, this is a rework of the Mega Man board game, uh, keeping some of the core design and um, and other you know ideas of the of the original. Uh, you do not need to buy uh, the original Mega Man board game, but if you did. Uh, Jasco is working on uh, the the logistics of a patch. I can't speak about that. Uh, you have to ask Jason about it yourself. But um, that's that is the plan: is to patch the old game with some new rules and uh, provide a new mm -hmm. experience. So um, we're back to me. I can. So I have two cards left in my deck. Um, I to reshuffle your deck, and you can do this anytime. But reshuffling your deck costs one energy. So I would have to spend energy to do that. But I think these two cards will carry me through. So I'll just draw. Um, and unfortunately, I only have two. So I'm going to have to spend. Well, I will help You're gonna you. You're going to help me? You're right? going to assist me for one? Right. OK, great. So go yeah, for it. Yeah, I'm going to go draw one for an ally, spending one weapon energy. OK. Uh, don't. That's great. a three. <laughs> Super. Well. well that's that. So I managed to get forward. Um, you can only draw one for me each turn, though. This um, this assist arrow right. is single use only. So each, but each player oh, could cool. assist me in a multiplayer game. So, Sorry, uh, quick question here. It yeah. says draw one for an ally plus one power for that ally. Yeah. So I draw one and give you a plus one. Yes. Yeah. Proto Man's really good at helping other people. Oh wow. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna spend cool. my one energy to reshuffle. And I'll grab a scrap, and that's my turn. 
So Are you not going to buy anything? Some, uh, no, I'm still one away from treble. Okay. Maybe I should. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. The Super Mega Man armor is pretty good. Um, so normally this will go in my discard pile, but since I just shuffled, I'll buy it first and then shuffle. Uh. Okay. Um, my go? Mm -hmm. Do you think two cards is enough to beat the two, Brad? I mean, it was for me, but if it's not, you'll be in real trouble. Well, you could just help me, right? Yeah, I could, just help. <laughs> I could just help you. I certainly have a little bit of weapon energy left. All right, sure. I'll just risk it for the biscuit. Oh, cool. There's the Dr. Wily chip. Oh, this is terrible, Brad. <laughs> Um, I can't sure. believe you've done this. Uh, I suppose rather than have you hurt one of us in order to pass this challenge, I will just help you instead. Um, so I'll spend two weapon energy and uh, draw one to help. All right, there's a slide. So Yay. that puts you at two. All right. All right. The the, the wily chip um, is is a scam. Don't believe it. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I've decided to not do the Wily So you chip. don't play that, you just play uh, this, gonna, and then this goes away at end of turn. Right. I'm going to have to spend one weapon and energy, uh, one yep. life energy to reach yep. my deck at this point. Yeah, and you can Sorry. spend... I'm going to buy something first. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you can spend I'm your gonna go last buy this. cube here, Marco. It's when you, it's when you must... So when you're forced to spend, spend one. Must. Yeah, when you're forced to spend one and you can't, yeah. then you're defeated. Uh, all right, cool. Um, thanks, all Brad. Right. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, Let's see if okay, we. That, I bought. Uh, I bought that. Deep, so. Yep. Uh, oh, do we these, replenish? Yeah, the store? these do replenish. Yeah. Cool. All right. And this is what's new. Yeah. You may trash this to regain all W. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. Um, unfortunately, how I don't do you think regain get energy? Us. Uh, you clear a boss. So, that's it? That's the only way to regain yeah. weapon energy? Yeah, you get a full heal when you clear a boss. Or if you fail a challenge, you lose a life and you regain everything. So Right, but we only have three lives between yeah. the, three, the two of us, so I don't think so, we want to do that yet. Let's see if I can finish this challenge. No problem. I yep. mean, you Boom. no probs, dude. Easy. All right, um, here's, here's your scrap. Thanks. I'm going to stop there because the next one is the boss encounter. Right, and you have to beat a five, a three, and a seven all in. I have to do, I have to do all three in one go, right? challenges in sequence, and I have to complete all of them. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm gonna attempt to beat this four. Should be. Okay, pretty that's easy. a two. That's a two. Can I just stop drawing? <laughs> um, I think nah. in the next version of the game you'll be able to draw less because reshuffling is a resource. But uh, at present, no. Right. Okay. Well, I'll advance one space. Cool. And uh, I'm and stop there. gonna get that scrap. All right, so now we're on to yes, the boss. Yes, I'm not gonna try to beat Guts Man yep. all in one go. So uh, I'm gonna challenge this boss. And so what I do is I have to do three consecutive challenges, just like the regular stage challenges. The weapon weakness, the cut blade, will help if I get any of those. Um, if I play a one, I still have to discard. So let's uh, see what happens. Yikes! Yeah, it's pretty rough. So I'm going to use the rush uh, ability, draw one more card. Um, that puts me at uh, four with no other weapon energy. So I'll spend, yeah, two. Do you think you can still beat? Three, uh, four. I, um, I'm or are you not gonna feeling yourself out great of about it. So I lose one energy I to can, make five. I, can I think I'll need your help on the seven more than anything. Okay, okay. So, um, sure, I'll go on the seven. I'm going to... I'll try and do the three with the rest of my deck. I don't think that should be too much trouble. All right. And then oh, I'll, wow. I'll use Eddie to get back two weapon energy, which I desperately need. Pay one to re do a reshuffle. Reshuffle. Yep. And then uh, I'll try and take out the seven. Let's see. Right. Okay, auto, that's good. Okay, yeah. So I'll play... Hmm. Actually, can you give me... Can you do the assist? Can you help me out? Yeah, I'll do the assist now. So I'll okay. give you plus one power and draw a card for you. Okay. Um, you can play. Do I draw another for card? The, unless you're greedy and you just want scrap for for nothing. No, rather, rather you're than not, help me, you don't beat it yet. <laughs> I know, I don't. Beat you don't it. beat it yet, right? But you could, <laughs> you could, you could just just mess me up if you wanted to. So you draw. No, you play why auto. Do I do this? You play auto to draw another card. 
No, I think that was actually just yours. That was just there. Oh, uh, that was just actually. Okay, so you okay, got the okay, proto okay. shield. So plus three power, plus or we, three total if assisting. So since you're helping me out, that'd yeah, be we, three, oh, four, five, we'll it. and then I'll play th this discarding. Wait, sorry. Whenever you play, does this count against me as well? Since that was a one, um, do, it only the affects the player in the stage at present. Okay, cool. But it will affect me when I'm assisting you if I'm in this stage, for whatever reason. Right. That's cool. how it is right now. But you, you've beaten him. Yeah, right? Yeah, so we've beaten this boss. Um, and then um, and I'm actually going to do this in a bit of a gamey way here. I'm going to um, I'm gonna actually discard this uh, instead. So I've got six total. I'll lose an energy to get seven. And I'll play auto for an extra scrap. Um, because now that Agreed. I've defeated... Agreed, I love it. Yeah, greed. Because now I've defeated Bomb Man, I get a full heal, thankfully. Right. So, which you can use to help me. Which I can yes. use to help you, yeah. Now, um, let me just um, go ahead and show what happens when we defeat the Robot Master, all right? So for anyone who missed the uh, first part of the show, after you defeat a Robot Master, there is a... Um, on the back of the Robot Master, there is a weapon tile. And so I would flip over this tile to reveal this and then plug that into my board. And this also provides... A bunch of new abilities to me. So uh, in addition to that, the Robot Master comes with a stack of three cards. Um, these Hyper Bombs, uh, which are really great, but they cost you weapon energy each time you use them. And those go into my deck cool. as well. So um, what does the Hyper Bomb do? Well, I can discard three cards from the top of my deck to regain energy. So it's got a, a free battery on it. I can discard three cards from my deck to give an ally plus two power. Of course, if I actually hit any mm -hmm. bombs, I'm in real trouble there. Um, or I can discard the top two cards on my deck for plus one power. But again, if I hit bombs or Wily, right. I'm in real trouble. So it's about a 25% risk each time I decide to turn one of these cards. Um, anyway. All right. Well. So that is <laughs> Bomb Man. Let's hope and pray I don't die. So let's fight against uh, Gutsman. All right. So you're going to fight Gutsman now. All right. Right. Cool. Let's go. Draw three. Right. Are you serious? You're off to a great start. All right. I can't even beat the four. So you got uh, two so far. Right. I'm going to wait till Can you get you to the seven. Question I'm going to wait till you get to the seven to assist you, Marco. Right. I'm going to go um, discard one of these ones and right. hopefully. No, because that means I'd have to draw three, right? Uh, no. Well, yeah. So, would it be better to just draw a card? I'd say probably spend two and draw t and two more and draw a card. Yeah. Right. So we're here. All right. Boom. Uh, oh, it's Eddie. I think I need to regain life, right? Yeah. So you can use your shield ability and regain a life. That's fine. Um, and then you could choose, for Eddie, do you want weapon energy or life? Mm, I want the two weapon energy for sure. Okay. Cool. And so that's we're gonna, I'm gonna. Right. I'm going to need it because I need to draw more yeah. cards. Well, you've right? seen a lot of the zeros in your deck, so now you can probably start cycling cards. Sure. I'll cycle, I'll cycle this one. Whoop. Oh, there you go. It's okay. You sure. can just you can just do two damage to me, Mega Man. Ah, right. Okay. And cool. with your wily, you're not fighting and, a robot, man. and that'll give you the four point, the four. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. So and cool. So you've I got the that first four. challenge. Now you're on to the second one. Right. Uh, and I don't lose two life for doing that. Cool. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's my discard? I actually. Is card counting going to be like a really important thing here? It might be a really important thing. Uh, here, since you right, could do it, let's three. save all the viewers at home time. This is what you got. Cool. So this is a six already. Yeah. Um, and I draw a card too. So I'll just, you know, spend one of my life energy to reshuffle, then draw. Correct? Sure. All right. Um. Hey, Otto. Uh, I will... Hey! All right, cool. So there's you finished the seven without me. 
You didn't even need help. Oh, you're right. So I just... I'm pr- the real, I'm, the I'm real like friends the edgy... were the strength you had within yourself without friends. To begin with. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> real friends is having no friends, really. Um, oh, it's Eddie. Not that this matters for now. All right. Uh, so you can just cycle this, this one. It doesn't come with a penalty if you just right. pitch it and draw again. Yeah, I, I'll just cycle this guy. Okay. Yeah, because it's not it's not when you discard yeah. this. And this is fine. With three, you can lose one more life and clear it. Oh, uh, right. That's fair. All right. Cool. So you just body check guts man for the win. Um, and then right. when you I, this is literally damage boosting off guts man to kill him, right? Yeah, <laughs> That's essentially basically. what I just did. <laughs> um, so when you beat the boss, you recover. Give me everything. the guts arm. Gutsman gets pulled from the Wait, tile. Wait, do I get a free reshuffle when that happens? Yeah, you yeah, you get a full recover everything when that happens. Uh, is there a way to remove cards from my deck? I don't like Wily. No. There's not currently a way to purge cards out of your deck. You just have to bury them. So super arm. The super arm. X is the number of cards you've discarded this turn. Ah, uh, because you're pitching cards. And I then <laughs> yeah, his ability is you can draw a card if it's not uh, an impact or a bomb. Uh, discard it and draw again. Repeat this until you keep one. So he can like so he can cycle. Chuck. He can cycle a ton of stuff, but you do have to worry about accidentally discarding Wily and losing two life. You can drop it on your toe. Um, you can pull back cards from your discard, and you can um, draw three cards. Draw choose three cards. one to assist an ally and discard the others. So cool. Super arm looks really interesting. Yeah. So the weapons will start to add some cool stuff to the game. So, um, we've each taken on a, a boss and cleared a boss so far. And we could keep clearing bosses, but right. we could also go straight to Wily Castle if we want to. Um, so, I'll show you what Do a we Wily want to? In Castle... I'll show you what an encounter looks like. So, just from my own board here, I can challenge the castle. Um, I challenge the first space available. Whoops. Uh, cool. And, um, yeah, I just... You might want to lock this. Yeah, I, I really should. Um, there we go. Locked. Okay. No, I locked it, and you unlocked it. <laughs> I'll just leave this to you in your capable hands, Marco. All right, so let's see if I can right. beat the first stage of this. So I'll spend one to draw. All right. Um, I, so I have... Wait, what, no. why did you spend one to draw? Oh, because oh, you have rush. rush. Rush boost, yeah. So I've got right. three, four, five, six. Um, I will... I can help you out. Hmm. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just cycle Eddie. Okay, cool. Cool. And then, yeah, so with that, so I can Hyper Bomb for four, and that costs me two energy, and then three, and then eight. So when I clear this stage, yeah. I actually just put a marker over the top of the stage to show that it's cleared. And so now when you go to, to Wily Castle to challenge, you will I'd go, to Yellow straight, Devil. go straight to Yellow Devil. And we keep going until we can fill out. So we're working together on this center stage. And it's often good to right. tackle one or two of the Wily stages and then go fight another boss because you get a free reset after killing the boss. I just realized something. Mm -hmm. um, we've not been doing Wily's power. Yeah, we, we didn't do this Wily power. I don't like that one very much, so let's just gloss over it. But imagine okay. that there's an actual cool power on this Wily card. You have to use your imagination. It's prototyping, Marco. All right, all right. Imagination. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So you're not in this stage, which means you can still fight. You can go. Yeah, to I can now, like, on my next turn, I can still go embark on another robot master. Yeah, we're playing on tabletop okay. simulator. Yes, tabletop simulator. Um, so let's see. Do I want to fight Freeze Man or uh, Burst Man? Well, you've got the, uh, the the super arm, which has this impact power. So actually, Cutman is weak against your ability. Um, so you've got an advantage if you go to that. If you're you've got an advantage if you go to this stage next. So I think this is really cool because my power also goes off bomb. I bomb yes. So if you cards? decide to buy beat over here, you would also it would also trigger the super arm's ability. Right. Uh, so I'll just go to Cutman because, you know, this is a Mega Man game. You go through weakness order, right? Yeah. Every time. All right. Yeah. So let's attempt to beat this three. You don't want to try and beat Yellow Devil? He's also weak against this. No! That's... 
Right, but that's a 787, dude! I'll help you. You know what? Fine. You know what? Sure. You 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 said it, but be, because of friendship. Oh All yeah, right. I need to grab a scrap for beating the first stage of the castle. Hoorah! Right. I forgot to get a scrap for beating um, Gutsman, so I got. I you got, got the, the you got the the placard for beating Gutsman. So. Oh, you don't get scrap. Currently, no. But maybe it's easier uh, for see. the sake of consistency. Here, have a scrap. I'll take okay, one too. Cool. We're playtesting. We can do anything. We can hot fix it mid game. <laughs> right, right. This is. We make the rules. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I win now. Is that okay? Uh, I mean, it is if you want to stop playing. <laughs> all right. Let's draw three. Um, you gonna use the? Uh, I'm gonna the super arm. Should I? Su should I super arm? I'm gonna super arm and try it out. All right, so we just keep milling cards until we hit one with the impact symbol. So you lose two energy from well, Wiley. I lose two life. Uh, this this is dangerous. Okay, Boom. not the cell. Have a super arm, <laughs> but now you've got All right, like cool. plus six power. So on each super arm, R right? This is this is a dead. This is a dead boy, right? For sure, and you um, can Eddie to get back some of the lost energy, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Sure. So that's one. I need to beat an eight now. Yep. I don't think I can beat an eight with just six cards. Yeah. Um, thanks for playing. So thanks for joining us. Bye, friend. So this is a new challenge. So your super arm's back to zero. Right. So I'm gonna need to do the same thing and chuck some stuff at them, right? Are you gonna super arm again? Well, we have to, right? Or yeah, else sure. it's... I'm not gonna beat it. Boop. 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 Okay, so well, that's three I'm gonna now. be forced to reshuffle. Aren't I, aren't I forced to reshuffle? No, you're not forced. This to. is your keep... your deck just ends. Oh, your deck just ends. Yeah. Okay, so this is a three. So this is a six. I need to get to an um, eight. Um, I can help you. I'll jump in for one card. We'll see what happens. Ha! There's eight. <laughs> hey! All right. Cool. All right. So now I'm forced to reshuffle. If I want to try yeah. to beat the second, and don't forget one. to use your shield uh, power to right regain to regain. One energy. And yeah, yeah, one energy is pretty good. All right, okay. So we reshuffle for for the one energy you got back, and then um, I keep drawing super arm. Oh no, <laughs> double super arm! So you can also just use your regular cycle ability, and that'll power super. Right, I'm just gonna too. regular cycle one of the super arms. Yeah. No, regular cycle the one, because every time you cycle that card, yeah, that's you, what I, you double them up. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, okay. That's what I meant. So, um, leave me, leave me alone. The, enemy, the enemy figures were pretty useless. <laughs> we'll be able to have use for them in this version. I am not sure yet. Um, I'm looking into ways that we can use the enemy figures, but I don't have a way just yet for us to use them. So, um, mm. we'll see. We'll see if we get there. Okay, so... I'm currently, I've discarded two cards, right? So I'm currently at the six. I'm just going to take the one life energy damage. Yeah. What they might end up being is like challenge modifiers that sit on these spaces. And so if you see a metal here, then like the difficulty just goes up by plus two. And also, you know, you have the ability to use the impact weapons to do more damage to this enemy. That kind of thing. That's sort of right. what the enemy. Essentially, might you do. have to encounter the enemy. Yeah, they might be passive or or act. Um, yeah, like active power ups that sit on a, that power up the bosses and make their stages more difficult. Right, right. Yeah, because that's the kind of. Okay, thing cool. You can do I beat the yellow clear. devil. You did. Okay, great. So that's clear. Cool. Also, we were we were bad. I don't need to take that extra damage. Yep. Um. Oh, and when I you forgot beat that the, we have uh, plus one power for yeah. doing. One other thing that I didn't prepare for this version. Um, let me see here. When you beat a one of the mini bosses, um, you get one of these. So you. Why get... did Why did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> we had to beat it eventually. Right, but why me? I mean, we both got right. one. It's okay. Everybody gets one. It's like Oprah, uh, but with Dr. Wily's. I, I don't want to go into Wily's castle anymore. You get a Wily, and you get a Wily, and you get a Wily. I'm going to go buy this beat. Okay. 
Cool. Oh, here's the the energy tank. That's handy. So um, let me show you. I can show you the other two characters in the game real quick. Um, but it's about time for us to right. to go and in this preview. So as you can see, we it's we've been playing 30 minutes. The game is obviously a lot faster in real life when you don't have limitations of the tabletop simulator. But about 30 minutes, two players got a quarter through the game. So if we were to play the full game, you can imagine it would take about two hours here. Um, we imagine it will take about 30 minutes in real life, or sorry, one hour in real life to pl for two players to finish the entire game. That's based on, yeah. you know, kind of how Tabletop Simulator expands your gameplay. Uh, so four playable characters here. Roll, Roll draws more cards, but her starting deck has a lower quality than uh, some of the other play characters. Oh, she Oh, and her weapon energy is three. And she gets oh, only three geez. weapon energy, but she can draw cards a lot cheaper, and she can assist a lot cheaper. But Roll is a character that um, that gets a lot of benefit from being aided by other players, um, and uh, yeah, and she can also assist right. other players with um, with her regeneration ability. So she has some heals. Base is a bit more technical character who spends life energy for a lot of his effects. He, like Proto Man, uh, comes with a Wily chip, so he can spend his own life energy to do tons of damage. Um, but mm -hmm. he kind of has this synergy where he uses both weapons and energy together to do stuff. Oh, he so, also has plus one power per weapon icon in your in hand. In your hand, yeah. Which so is once really per cool. turn, he can he can activate that and like and get like three or four extra bonus. Right, but that's if he, assuming he bought a lot of like the weapon symbol cards, or yeah. has a lot of weapons. But he from starts the robot obviously. Master. He starts with uh, with treble, um, so um, so he can get two. Right. He can get plus two out of his starting if he if he doesn't win both of these cards are in his hand. Oh, um, oh, wow, that's a lot. So yeah, yeah. so it's it's kind of like you you benefit from diversifying your deck. Yeah, he benefits as from having a lot of everybody weapons. else. Right, mm -hmm. as opposed to like Proto Man and Mega Man, who benefit from getting a lot of the same kind of weapon. Yeah, right? and of course, all the weapons have uh, really cool little um, little sub games. Can you show some more of the the some more robot weapon mods? weapons? Yeah, sure. right, right, because because uh, they are basically extra characters, right? They're yeah. super transformative. Yeah. So and also, so let's say you wanted to play as Cutman in this set. Um, in the back of the rules, we'll have a basic uh character like a eight, basic uh nine card deck and then you just take this you attach it to your board and you add the three cutman cards to your deck grab your cutman miniature and then you play as cutman during the game so you can play as any oh, of the robot cool. masters that you so you just start with the robot masters board as the default set right yeah you, so you start with this and then on the back of this on the back of the proto man board will be like a generic um robot board oh so it's just somebody who has like you know draw three yeah so like you have a basic a basic starting starting ability set plus the rolling cutter in your starter deck um and so you'll be able oh, to actually so cool. you'll actually be able to play as any of the of the like 40 robot masters in the game oh yeah so that's, that's oh pretty brad fun too. this is what are you doing to me? Um, discard a zero, two, or four to draw two. Oh, he likes evens. I get it because he cuts. Yeah, them. you can cut the card in <laughs> half and get two cards out of it. Um, I and hate then it. The blade symbols can, you know, can he can spend weapon energy to power those up. So he actually is a great first pick for base if you wanted to, because base already has two blades in his deck from Trouble. You know. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, what else is cool? Um, Show me Junk Man. I want to see junk some of the man. more off kilter okay. robot masters. So yeah, Junk Man here. Um, you can just discard two cards to draw two cards. It's pretty basic. If you get uh, the shield and electric icons plus three power. Um, so the Junk Shield oh, is so actually the yeah. The Junk Shield is not a really great placard. It's a really interesting um, like actual Art. card. So whenever you would discard the Junk Shield, you can spend extra energy to play it instead. Oh, but that's like a two power. Oh, yeah. So I could I could pay one to cycle this, and then one more to actually get its value, instead of just losing it. Oh. Um, or if you're Mega Man, for example, you you have the Super Mega Man armor that says you know this does nothing discard unless you another discard card. another right. card, and then you play Junk Shield with that, and you get the effect of both cards. Um, the Luck Man's weapon. 
uh, it d X is the amount of weapon energy you spent this turn. Ah, so it's kind of like Gutsman-ish, yeah. right? Um, ah. the... Also, I'm realizing that this works with Bombman really well, because Bombman yeah. basically like discards his deck, right? Yeah, so there's some really <laughs> cool Robot Gutsman. Master synergies you can do by mixing them together. Oh, the synergies! Yeah. Oh. So, um, uh, so, yes, you're, so you're asking, uh, so asking the chat, we're getting new Robot Masters. The plan is to definitely do Mega Man 1 and 2, because part of the aesthetic of the new uh, V2 Mega Man board game is that you build your own Mega Man Robot Master select screen, and you can't do that with just eight masters. So we're going to make sure that there are at least 16 Robot Masters to build your own uh, loadout with, and at least two Wily Castles. Um, I am probably going to design all of them because I love it, and that's what I want to do. <laughs> but uh, what actually gets right. published, I think, is going to depend on you know what kind of support we get from uh, from fans for the new edition. So we'll see where that takes us. Um, but I'm playing through Mega right. Man Seven right now myself. That's why you see some of the Mega Man Seven Robot Masters popping up here. Gosh, yeah. Danger Rap. Uh, you're you're making me really excited. I'm a I'm a huge Mega Man. I'm not even gonna say I'm a huge Mega Man fan. I'm just gonna say I'm a huge Mega Man. Um, <laughs> So um, oh, yeah. I, I am just a Mega Man. <laughs> here's yeah. Uh, so here's Danger What's the rap. placard for Burst Man? Yeah. Um, uh, draw a card if it's a two or higher power. Spend. So okay. You, you can draw so a card, but if it's draw. too if it's too powerful, then you you lose damn or you you have to pay for it. Um and then right right. Um, but it's still cheaper than the default draw. Yeah. Right. So he so he rewards cool. you for having a lot of low cards in your deck. Right, right. Oh, right. Plus one power per zero in your hand. So all your zeros are technically one. Yeah. So he's and and his and the danger wrap too is plus two power if a zero has been played or discarded. So he really likes to load up on you know cards like Auto and Doctor Light here, um, and even the energy can start to get useful for you. Uh, um, so you're like a utility deck. Yeah. Get that. Cool. Um, let's see Roll here. would love this. So freeze cracker. This is a weapon that's that splits apart when you fire it. So mm -hmm. you can discard the ice cards to get two cards out of them. You can pay a you can pay an ice card and three weapons to get four cards out of it. Um, and that can be really useful for beating some of the tough challenges. I don't know if you see that robot master rematch over here in like stage three of the Wily Castle. But uh, that oh, requires. No. I see that it's twenty. That requires some real planning ahead to beat. Yeah. So. Right, uh, and and teamwork, I assume. Yeah, and a lot of teamwork. Uh, yeah. So. Um, so how does this game scale? So that's right? that's like, yeah something you might be asking. Um, right now, it scales because you always get three lives, regardless of how many players are in the game. So you really only uh, get to fail so many times, no matter who's in the game. Um, that said, I'm probably going to revise. This is the mechanic I'm the least happy with and probably going to revise in the future. Um, I really right. want like whatever it is that Wiley does to um, sort of light Scale a bit more fire under the players, force them to uh, to do more stuff. For some reason, I have two copies of Burst Com Man. I think this Com guy was this supposed to be... This guy was supposed uh, to be a Lech Man, and he's gone. Alas. Yeah. Um, Ice Slasher... Wow, Ice Iceman just draws you more cards. Yeah, so you get a lot of cards out of that, and um, yeah, Fire Fireman's more of a a risk reward character. Makes sense. You play with fire, but you use you use those abilities before you draw, so you use them speculatively. Oh, speculative investments. Yeah, I see. So, um, oh, what was I saying? Right. So, um, the uh, uh, what's it? Um, the Wily abilities should be more interesting. Right, right. So I want to I want to do something where Wily is a little bit more of an active threat. Like you know, if you take too long or if you take too much time, uh, Wily starts spawning enemies on the stages, or he starts making the castle harder, or he starts throwing trash into your decks, or whatever else you know, kind of evil things that you would expect. Right. That's sort of um, right. What I I I want to do. And I haven't figured out quite how to do it yet, but I'm. Uh, that's probably right. going to eventually replace this mechanic, so that as you start slipping up on challenges, Wily starts to um, be more aggressive in fortify his castle or yeah. like screw mag screw pages or 
Maybe that's how you can integrate the enemy figurines into it, right? Like Wily it dispatches them into stages. Yeah, start spawning them into the stages. That that'd probably be a good way to do it. Um so right. um there are questions from chat. Yeah. Is Rush still going to be playable? How about Dr. Light? So I am right now the only miniatures that we've integrated are the um Mega Man, Proto Man, and Rush and Roll or sorry, Mega Man, Proto Man and Roll miniatures. Um, there will be a base miniature too to uh, f support this game, but for the old miniatures, we were talking earlier about putting, um, using them as tokens to increase the difficulty of stages, or perhaps to offer a buff. So if you get to a stage and you see Rush there, he might give you a flat bonus on that stage. Does that make sense? Like if I am planning to do the stage and I get um, the ability to deploy Rush somewhere, I could drop him here and get a like plus one on this on this challenge here. What what Something if Rush like just straight up does what Rush does? Oh, just lets you Mega jump Man over game. the challenge. Yeah, right, that right. would He's be like, screw this challenge. Let me yeah, just Rush coil past this entire screen. That's a that's a good idea. That's so that's the kind of that's the way that I imagine these will be used. Is that they they will not be right. player characters, but they will be tokens that allow you to change the way that we progress on the board. Right, and if you find a light capsule, maybe you get some armor or whatever. Yeah, right? well, that's that's X. We can't do armor in uh, in this one. Please give me armor. Well, you do have some armor, right? You have the rush armor. You have the super no, Mega Man armor. This this is yeah, but those are those are rush mods. Super Mega Man armor is just a Fine. rush module. It's not like you know the like the X armor where it permanently integrates into your system. I want it, Brad. I. I was gonna suggest like you know Wily dispatches some mid boss into stages, and then I realized yeah. that was the Mega Man X thing, not the Mega Man regular thing. Dang Sometimes it. I mean Proto Man shows up, right? And I mean I there guess, are there mean. are there are mid bosses, right? Like that's what the seven is. That's a mid boss. It's in and when we have the final game with the final artwork, you'll see like a picture of the mid boss from the stage in this box. You won't just see a big number seven. Mm. Okay, that's way more evocative for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so these will kind of represent these will, you know, just like in the in the old game, these will show the challenges that we are going to face as we go through the stages. So we'll use that original in right. the game. But yeah, cool. um, so, so that's uh, that's a preview of add, Mega Man board game. Brad, this was pretty cool. This was pretty cool. I'm gonna change the 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 teaser for this. Thing, the thumbnail for this video to just have the Mega Man thing. Okay, on it. sure, sure. Uh, are, so are you going to use old, old, like old American Mega Man, or are you going to use one of the fancy anime Mega Man? Obviously, the old. No, no, we're going to use we're going to use the cover of the Mega Man board game. What are you talking about, Brad? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sure. <laughs> no, no, we're going to use the the Mega Man American Mega Man they put on the old box, like the one that looks like a really bad sci-fi. Yeah, 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 that one. Or you can take the no, Mega Man board game and just post his face over the anime Mega Man on the board game. See, I'll even edit it so that it doesn't. It's not even just a bad crop job. I crop the face and put it inside the helmet of the anime Mega Man. Is that what you want? <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for joining us and for uh, checking out this very rough preview of the game. Um, I look forward to continuing this is to work rough? on this. This seems like a really uh, this is infinitely better than anything I've designed in the past four years. Well, I mean, it, we'll, 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 uh, I still feel like it's, there's, some, there's some roughness on the edges that we need to, to fix. But we'll continue to work on this, and in the next few weeks, we are hoping to make this available for public testing. So um, fans that are in Jasco's Mega Man board game server will get a chance to check this out. Um, I don't think I have the invite for that. Um, but if you email Jasco Games, they'll right. get it to you. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can find it somewhere. Let me see. Can I invite people? Well, if you're part of the server, if you're yeah, part of the I server, can invite you can people. just Oh wow. Okay, let me make an invite link. Right. All so right. we're we're gonna put that in chat. So while people are talking, uh, uh, yep. get your questions in now before we leave. <laughs> so while Brad is doing this invite thing, uh, everybody right. get your questions in now before we have to go. Um, yeah, sadly, we're, we're not going to be able to finish a full game. I don't think it's actually possible to finish a full game of this on Tabletop Simulator in the amount of time that we usually have for the show. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm glad I was able to play it, Brad. Thank you for making me, for letting me be Proto Man. Proto Man is my favorite, like, OG Mega Man character. Awesome. So, oh, yeah, he's I a think cool my, boy. My Discord, I don't know, and my Discord just shows 
instead of your face, showed for a second Jason's server. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> Perfect. No, no, no uh, worries. Okay. No worries. Yeah, I'm just yeah. screen capping. Proto Man has always been really cool. I was All really right. into Sentai when I was younger. So um, the fact that Proto Man was like, you know, like cool dude with like neck scarf. It's mm -hmm. like you just, you just have to like him. He looks like a common Rider esque Mega Man character. So whatever. It's, awesome. it's fine. Well, thanks again, and uh, as always, uh, thank you and good night. And uh, don't forget to night, happy gain gaming. scrap every turn. Well, uh, well, no. How about it's like don't forget to use weapon weaknesses, or yeah, don't forget to use rush. Yeah, trails. don't forget your robot master weapons. There you go. Right. All right. And thank you, everyone. Bye. Happy gaming. <laughs>